Hi there. Thanks for visiting the Haywire. I'm Sabby. Just an FYI, I'll be posting interview clips from my archive of interviews that dates back to 2002, and actually a little bit before that. Um, I'll also be posting a regular video blog sort of topic of the day, essay monologue kind of thing. I'll be having guests stop by, and there'll be video feature pieces as well. It's called the Haywire for a couple of reasons. Um, First, the obvious things going haywire, systems failing, technological, um, having to sort of uh, confront the effects of, uh, you know, um, a couple centuries of, of accelerated technological growth and the human costs of that. Um, also, the perhaps the frantic pace of, or, or the, the frantic state of mind that many of us might be in now because of an increase of um, an increased proliferation of, of communication and constant sort of data entry into the mind uh, but also a haywire is something you use to bail hay with uh, which I thought had a really nice um, sort of hands-on return to tradition kind of back to the earth <laughs> connotation to it and uh, I thought the two ideas together made for a really good place, um, a virtual place, that people could come and uh, witness dialogues, hoping that perhaps exchange of ideas, even though we're kind of inundated with uh, non-stop talking, that hopefully something of a slower, sort of more considered and more almost homey pace, almost like having a visitor into your home, which is exactly... Um, what the setting of a lot of these interviews is going to be. Um, hopefully that will sort of carry over and synergize with other people who are doing things. At the same time, uh, there's still a great emphasis on music and art and culture and humor. Um, and uh, I hope you'll sort of take be able to take all that in. Um, I also welcome emails and feedback from the audience. So uh, you can write to me at saby at thehaywire.com and uh, maybe I'll read some emails um, on camera. Of course, it's impossible to raise any concerns about ecology or raise questions uh, about our relationship with nature um, without running right into the brick wall of, of, I mean, the irony of using technology to, <laughs> to uh, discuss the problems of technology is is not lost. I'm doing this on a computer. I use computers. I buy things. I uh, leave plastic behind. I produce garbage. I take takeout from restaurants. I ride in cars. Um, but part of what this site is designed to do, uh, besides entertain and engage you and hopefully give you food for thought, is to uh, to begin to clarify what one, what each of us can do to address the issue. Um, I'll be having guests on the show that discuss these issues in full scientific, thoroughly researched detail, but for the time being we can settle for my subjective opinions. Um, it's kind of hard not to get the impression, <laughs> if you look around, that um, the, I guess uh, there's lots of turmoil uh, in the world. I'm not sure that there's necessarily any more than there ever has been, but the interconnectedness and the the uh, sort of reverberating effects of it from one part of the world to another seem to be amplifying. And as I was writing about music, I kept wondering um, how can media uh, really contribute when there's so much of it around um, and I just came to the conclusion that talking, discussion, uh, dialogue may have some sort of redemptive impact on the situation we're in. Um, ingenuity seems to be uh, one of humankind's uh, most striking features. Um, and. So perhaps we've arrived at a historical crossroads. I'm arguing that we've arrived at a historical crossroads, uh, an evolutionary crossroads, where our intellectual capacity can no longer be used carelessly. And we must evolve a way to 
think ahead about the consequences of our, uh, the things that we make and the things that we do in ways that we have never really been challenged to do in the past, through, as far as I know, throughout our existence. Um, because human societies are so interconnected, um, because our impacts are much uh, more profound in the 21st century and have been in the 20th century. Again, these are debated, uh, contested ideas, but for argument's sake, saying, uh, saying that, um, we really can't afford to turn a blind eye uh, anymore to, to, to how we're living, and yet it takes a massive amount of, of, of energy uh, on an individual's part to sort of pry ourselves loose of the mechanism that we're all sort of bound to. Um, but uh, we can have a good time talking about it and hopefully doing things about it and leading to some solutions. Uh, the, the other side of the sword, um, uh, the other side of the coin with, with ingenuity is solutions. Um, when pressed, perhaps we can do very, very, very well. Uh, perhaps this a particular moment in time will draw out of us, uh, a kind, will catalyze a kind of uh, an evolution and fuel it. And that's really, really exciting, an idea, perhaps overly optimistic. Uh, I don't necessarily think so, and I think we're seeing evidence that that isn't overly optimistic, that something is happening in our in the development of our state of mind, something that is both positive and frightening. <laughs> um, uh, so that paradox is something we'll be discussing as well as music and sports and cooking and uh, all sorts of fun stuff while we've got the time. Uh, thanks for visiting.